Today is a new day to enjoy the homemaking and I'm going to start with putting away this honeycomb that I purchased at a grocery outlet. The cozy fall days are filled with baking and canning and with some cleaning. Some mud started to build up on this dish rack so I'm going to scrub it with some vinegar and dish soap and I'm going to use some tea tree oil. always find the best brushes at each mart some of them are available at Amazon and I will have the links down below but mostly I find them at each mart when we remodeled this kitchen one of my big concern was the sink and I wanted to have the one that is kind of deep so I can fill it up <laughs> And then we ended up with this shallow one, but it's wider. And I think we did the best choice with that because I don't have to bend over as much. So it's easier on my back. And I have a very easy access as I'm washing bigger pieces. I can't wait to try this honeycomb and I put it on this top of this little cabinet where I keep the baked goods for breakfast because I think I'm going to put this into a tea. Also on the weekend I made some canning. I made some ketchup-ish something. <laughs> I mean I tried my best but I didn't know what I was doing and I made some lard as well. For next, I'm going to tackle my least favorite <laughs> chore that I have to do in the kitchen is to clean out this oven. But I have to admit, since it's a smaller size, it's easier to clean. So it's just less surface to scrub, uh, but yet it still fits two casserole dishes in there. So I'm really happy with this uh, oven and i like to use baking soda because it's really good at absorbing all those gunky greasy spots
we are getting used to the new schedule and to me it's mind-blowing <laughs> how much more i can get done without a lot of distraction and multitasking so now i'm actually able to focus more on the task As I'm getting used to the new schedule, I'm still soaking up the quiet. It feels good for my brain, but also I like to listen to some music. Sometimes I have Gilmore Girls in the background or Friends or some kind of DVD that is going. The fun part of this homemaking is that I just really make the environment that I get to enjoy to do this work. I made stuffed cabbage last week and I had some leftovers from the meat and the rice mixture so it's ready to go into another recipe and now I'm just going to use some tomato sauce and lots of maple syrup some pepper and salt and I am well basically the recipe is stuffed pepper <laughs> so it's similar to the stuffed cabbage but it's made with tomato sauce and guys this is so yummy this is my husband's favorite and since i don't have big peppers just little ones i'm just going to stick them into the soup I'm getting more and more use of this drying rack. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> I like to dry some water bottles on that and now the gloves, it just works really amazing. And of course, the swilling bags are drying way faster on that as well. The bugs and the bees are still busy in our garden and I still have some things to harvest but I'm really soaking up the last days of this fall with the lots of sunshine. I like to bring in herbs and just put it all over in the house. One, it looks really nice because it just brings life to the place, but also it smells amazing and it keeps the bugs away. Just a quick idea. This is something that holds the paper. It has a magnet on it. I used to have this in the laundry room, but now I'm just going to use it in the kitchen and it can hold the cutting board. It looks cute and it comes handy.
we had this wad worn down lamp in our bedroom <laughs> last time i covered that with the basket so finally i made up my mind what i should buy there and originally i wanted to go to ikea but i just had to realize this is not going to happen anytime soon because ikea would be a holiday project for me to drive there and all and even though they have great prices for lamp i was able to find something on amazon so i just ordered that and i got it the next day and i'm very happy with the decision because i like actually this golden color because it did a little uplift to the the room it looks a little bit more elegant kind of had a hard time to figure out what lamp should go here color wise and just i'm trying to pick things that generally goes well with everything so i think that will do it and this is the only light bulb that i was able to locate <laughs> so uh, well on the end it worked out and it's just so bright it's just perfectly what i needed and i love the golden color I am slowly gathering things for decoration for fall and I'm just looking around on the property what can I find that would be useful to bring it inside somewhere in the great unknown when I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am home? Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I've been We have so many projects on our list and this was one of them. I really wanted to paint that area white and even further I'm thinking to paint the whole deck white. And um, this is not the final how it will look. We just couldn't get around to fix the things, the siding and all and we want to replace all the windows in this house. So there are so many things that will change but for now just to you know make it look a little bit nicer we're just going to paint that area and this <clears throat> interesting color that is around the frame <laughs> it, it, i think it's a green it's meant to be a green so that will open up if it doesn't have a border around that
as we were checking out the porch lights i picked up some pumpkins and some mums These are much, much bigger lights. That was a smaller one? No, this was the... This one had only one size. It looks better than the other one, but... <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What about if you put it this way? <laughs> no. I don't know. I think it's... Strawberry with honeycomb. <laughs> That's become my new favorite. Twice. And I knew it would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind. Ten years ago I started to paint. I took exactly the same route as I did with YouTube. <laughs> I had no idea what I was I doing as I started but I was catching up and learning along the way. So as the time was approaching that both of my kids would have been in school, that's when we started homeschooling. And so I set aside the children's book making and that is something i was keep continue doing but just not intensely and i'm kind of hoping that i can get back to the swing to paint more and i grew up i somehow made it through without losing sight and i still wonder where you are It was very important for me to have something that I really enjoy and painting is something that is very relaxing me and it just gets me into the loop of being creative and I, it just makes me feel very good and relaxed.
I made a video about our morning routine if you want to see that I will link it down below in the description box but we are keeping up with that and I'm trying to create a morning where we can be more relaxed I would say so we can start out good and then some days no matter how hard we try it can just bring up some situations where it's going to get crazy <laughs> This is big, Jyoti. You're going to hit your head in that. This is twice as big. Can you find the small lights? Apparently, uh, they're not in not in trend anymore. Well, actually, it's not bad. Actually, it's good. I mean, I mean the style. It's not really, you know. I mean, it's okay. It is what it is. Yeah, we bought it from Costco, so. Yeah, yeah. Costco has a. Best price on everything. Well, if you ask me what is my favorite decor item, hands down, that would be the lights because I can use them in any season and it makes a beautiful atmosphere. I love how it makes everything more cozy and it just goes with any kind of occasion. So it's just not just for Christmas, you can use it on summer and then it's just endless possibilities. Jot staring through the window quietly. <laughs> Nothing terrifies me more. <laughs> he does this all the time. He always scares me. <laughs> I should get used to it. <laughs> but um, so that's how our porch ended up with. And it's just a primer, so we still have to paint uh, more. But we started to have some rain, so we have to stop with this project. nice yay thank you so much for watching until the end and if you enjoy this content don't forget to subscribe like and share and i will see you soon in the next one bye